dear students in this video we are going to study about the structure of a leaf leaves are of different types different sizes different shapes but they are very important they are the structures present in a plant that look green in color that make the plants the most distinguished among the other living beings the leaf attaches to the stem at the node there are two green structures present in some leaves at the base of the stalk that is called stipules the stalk of the leaf that attaches the leaf with the stem stalk of the leaf is called petiole now students the flat green portion of the leaf that is called the leaf blade or lamina there is upper part and the lower part of the leaf there are two sides of the leaf a big vein running at the middle part of the leaf that is called the midrib the veins carry water and minerals to the leaves from the stem the midrib is divided into many side veins these side veins further divides into small netted veins now children what are the functions of leaves the leaves are having different functions like they are manufacturing the food exchanging gases and transpiration leaf is called the kitchen of the plant because it prepares food for the plant the prepared food is stored in various parts of the plant in some plants the food is stored in the leaves itself in some plants the food is stored in the stem like in sugarcane in some plants the food is stored in the roots like in sweet potato and radish in some plants the food is stored in the flowers like the flowers cauliflower or drumstick in some plants the food is stored in the underground stem like ginger turmeric onion etc so the food prepared by the leaves are stored in different parts of the plant the leaf prepares food using the water and minerals that are absorbed by the roots from the soil there is a green colored pigment present inside the leaves called chlorophyll the chlorophyll traps the sunlight the sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis we can say that the photosynthesis occurs during the day time because during day time the sunlight is available so students the process of food making in plants is called photosynthesis we can say that the plants feed the entire organisms present in the world now students the second function of leaves that is exchange of gases leaves have openings called stomata which help in exchange of gases during day they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen for photosynthesis during night they take in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide for respiration so students there are two types of gaseous exchange happens in the plants one is respiration and one is photosynthesis in respiration oxygen is taken carbon dioxide is given out on the other hand the photosynthesis is opposite to respiration in which carbon dioxide is taken 
through the stomata and oxygen is given out as a by product now children the third function of leaves the process of transpiration transpiration is the loss of water through through the stomata it helps in cooling and absorption of water and minerals so children there is absorption of water and minerals the plant body is cooled due to the rate of transpiration the excess water present in the plant body is given out through the transpiration through the stomata so students in this video we learned about the structure of a leaf the parts of a leaf like the petiole or the stalk of a leaf the flat portion green portion that is the lamina there are stipules present at the base of the stalk where the leaf joins with the stem there is a big vein in the middle of the leaf that is the midrib there are many side veins side veins further divides into netted veins we also studied about the three functions of leaves the most important function that is the manufacturing of food second one is the exchange of gases and the third one is transpiration students i hope you understood the topic